Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about the Pokemon event, as we like to call it, the Tyrion Wars, and what are the best team that you can use in this mode to be basically able to beat all the content in the first try. So, as you can see, here you have four gym leaders that you have to fight, and then you have the elite four. So, I will give you my advice what are the best teammates to go for to be able to crush all the competition on first try with no sweat. So the most important key piece that you already start with, it's your Trotter. They're actually really powerful, really good, especially with a specific build in mind. Of course, you can't get all of these builds available right away, but as soon as you get these chips, you're gonna use that on these characters. So the core I was going with my team, it's primarily of these three characters. Basically, the Trotter, the Soldier, the Soldier can also be replaced with the, I believe its name is Vagrant, and Entranced Ingenium Draculion. So these three core characters, this one is interchangeable, makes it that the content itself, it's very easy because you're gonna have insane survivability in the first place, and then you just splash one of these elites as you go in. The strongest elite, of course, it is the Frigid Prowler. I'll also have some footage to show you how this actually works. Let's go over the builds in detail. So for Trotter specifically, the most important thing that you will want to use is efficiency optimization with this chip you will reduce the cost of its ultimate meaning it's going to cost two points and you'll be able to spam this ultimate more often we also go through over what the ultimate does in a moment but it's first important to understand the build before how the kit works because this is a very specific build you also have to go with safe mode to increase the hp of the trotter and this is the most important one functional over draft after attacking an enemy it will consume your hp but remember the trotter hp is very high now and it will advance forward you by 40 percent so meaning the trotter will be able to spam the ultimate much more often i personally also went with matrix iteration so the trotter also heals himself up a bit more after using ulti so basically it becomes effectively a second tank in the team and the ultimate is really powerful because when you enhance yourself the basic attacks will uh, boost the damage of your next attack by 20 percent it is really powerful it is really nice lot of healing for the, your team lots of damage boosts it's a very nice character to have also if it gets attacked you do boost a bit of attack but that's okay there is another thing you can change with matrix iteration this one you can change for this one parallel enhancement after using an attack increase damage received by the wearer and attack the enemy target by 25 percent for one turn parallel enhancement is also really good to boost damage further but the problem is your trotter will be a bit more squishier more likely to die basically went with matrix matrix iteration just to make it more foolproof and safe so we can do it on first try super easy mode the second key component which you also get quite earlier on i believe it's at the second stage is obedient draculion this is basically a healing not a heal well it does provide healing as well but it's a tank sponge it's gonna tank so much damage and it has a revive basically when it would die it goes to one hp and the ultimate resets the emergency mode and also when you do trigger the emergency mode you do a follow-up attack on the enemy for a bit of damage it's okay but the point of this one is just to be a sponge to tank all the damage away from your other teammates and also it's important to use this one with the next guy that I'll talk about. Uh, there are combinations that you can use. Uh, basic attack, nothing special. It's not really for damage. And extension chips are important, especially firewall to increase the chance for this guy to keep getting attacked. So basically, this is your actual first tank. The trotter is the second tank. And then you go with the shield system, which also increases the chance further to get attacked. And also more HP absorb damage. Like, like you get the shield of uh, your based on your HP. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool so this uh, i highly recommend and important is why you want this to have and also the trotter is cool very high hp pull as well thanks to the chip is because of this guy specifically but we'll get to this in a moment because the next option is interchangeable you will get silver main soldier before vagrant so i recommend you start with soldier I, I believe you do get soldier first so i recommend you start with soldier first and then you can switch to vagrant but soldier provides more comfort especially the gimmick of the soldier is the morale boost morale boost provides damage dealt increase for your whole team 
damage resistance and speed stacks up to 60 times the trick with this is also the skill because you do it's like a march 7 skill where you increase the aggro of the shielded target and also redirect them to attack so you basically could guard this guy to be even more tanky basically this guy will eat all the enemy ultimates if enemy has any strong single target ultimates this guy's gonna eat everything res off super easy so this is the synergy you can do and the ultimate will increase the stacks of morale faster the stacks never expire the cap is up to 60 so it is pretty cool it is safer in my opinion than vagrant but vagrant is also good you can also use vagrant after i'll, I'll go through vagrant in a second yeah but first let's check the chips as you can see emergency reboot i personally have this on this guy just in case uh, if it would die so we can rescue him because honestly warp trotter doesn't die if with the build i was using so emergency reboot wasn't needed so same with the Draculion robot, wasn't really needed. It has own, own revives. It must be useful on this guy. Attack interception is also cool because at the end of the weather action, you get the barrier that nullifies all damage just to make them a bit more tanky. So basically, effectively, all three characters in your team are tanky. The defense in this game is the safest way to win first try. Because sure, you can have a glass cannon build, but remember, guys, there is no timer, there is no cycle count. You can just have a strong defense and win the fight just easy and the offense are these elite enemies well technically pokemons now that you can use we're gonna go through a couple of them some of them are kind of meh some of them are really exception they're gonna carry you 90 percent of the con 99 of the content okay but let's before that go to the vagrant option this is also an amazing option that you can use instead of the soldier guy okay but you do you do get vagrant a bit later basically with vagrant you give advance forward which is very useful for your elite so they can do more damage as for ultimate you do a like a little attack boost and it's it's okay but personally like the damage reduction is also nice for themselves but personally you do have less uh, survivability than the other guy because soldier does provide shield and damage reduction on top of speed and damage boost so it's up to you whether you want to choose the trade-off the delay action is also kind of nice but it's up to you it's it's interchangeable i personally prefer soldier but you can easily run vagrant as well and for vagrant you would go about similar chips as the the soldier just to make sure your guy doesn't die survives keeps buffing forward as for elites you have a several options but the real mvp of all these elites it's actually frigid prowler frigid prowler is one of the strongest elites in the game it's gonna do ridiculous amount of damage and it can effectively you can set up bursts of damage where you're gonna wipe out everything just with frigid prowler and you can basically have a team just around frigid prowler and win the game so for this composition it would be be the trotter soldier or vagrant and draculion and then you go with frigid prowler and frigid prowler trick is the skill the skill is first of all gonna consume hp virale skills themselves and also every stack boosts your damage stacking up to 10 times and remember if you're draining hp of your draculion or the trotter which heals themselves a lot or even the soldier which is very you can make it tanky you'll be fine there will not be risk of dying when your frigid prowler is draining hp because remember has res, a lot of healing with the right chips this one is also quite durable and also has a bit of shield and remember the team wide damage reduction as well so you can easily keep consuming hp and then you do like a super powerful aoe ultimate when you stack the damage but there is another trick for frigid prowler that's also very important it's the chips so you want to use the most important chip energy recycling energy recycling basically allows you to use the ultimate again as soon as you kill something with the ultimate basically so this is really powerful because you'll be able to use his ultimate back to back especially if there are multiple enemies that you put at low hp it's very clutch it's very powerful i like to run moral activation because uh, it takes time to build up his damage anyway and you can get a bit of extra morale stacks i'm not 100 sure if this morale chip stacks with the morale from the soldier i haven't actually paid attention to it so might be wrong on this one but even if it does stack it means it would just go faster if it's separate it's also cool but if it does stack up together then you would just get the stacks faster which is also nice a general upgrade i just love this generic this is also something you get earlier on you can have other options that you can use such as sudden interjection or other things if you want like i said efficiency optimization i'll recommend it on the trotter so we can spam the trotter thingy yeah okay so for frigid prowler i also have some gameplay footage i guess uh, we can go fight something just to show you how this 
works. Okay, so here we're gonna fight Silver Wolf. And I'll explain how you play generally with this team. It's actually very straightforward, very simple. Also, this team, especially these three teammates, are very out to play friendly. You could play all three of them out to play relatively easily. So, first, you just go basic attack with Trotters, and the mission is to get his ult as fast as you can up. As for the add, as for the add, you don't have to worry, like the, on the side, you can just consume HP first, prep the damage. Uh, we, we can uh, do it again, we should be fine. And remember, the Draculion has a res, the soldier doesn't, but soldier can also shield himself. Now we get the morale stacks boosts, we get that damage reduction, and also remember, we can heal up with the Draculion as well, and we do have a res with this guy anyway, so it's all good. As you can see, we get rezzed, we're good. And now we heal him back up. And with the Trotter, because we have the chip, we also heal ourselves up when we use ult, as you can see. So that makes them more tanky, very comfy, very nice. And now, we can consume the HP. It shouldn't die, but um, I don't think it should die. And also our Trotter will attack and heal up, so it should be okay. So we're gonna consume at 1 HP, use the ult, and let's see how much damage we can do. Yeah, a decent amount of damage. Generally, you would try to go for a kill, but that's that's okay too. So now we're gonna shield the robot, and hopefully it's gonna be fine. There we go, they attack the soldier, and now we're all good. So we attack the add and activate the self res. Yeah, this is a bit too cut close, but it's still okay as you can see. This also works perfectly on auto play. You can also play this team easily on to play, especially these three characters together. The elite is interchangeable. But uh, Frigid Plowder on how to play might perform a bit worse. So now we're just gonna kill some mods. Uh, let's get them out of the way. We could also try to save it for the ult combo, but it is uh, it's okay. So we're gonna consume. We do have a revive after all, so there is no problem. Let's just consume their HP. Uh, now the piggy is gonna heal a bit up, so that's pretty cool. There's the advance forward, war trample. We should be fine. As I said, we have the res, now it's the counter, it gets healed up to half, all good. And now, we just need to heal up and shield up. And we're good to go. There we go. And now for Prowler, we could try to consume HP, but it could leave us potentially for this guy to die. It is a risky move, but at the same time, it doesn't really matter, okay? Because even if you have teammates that, let's say, they would... We, we killed it. But even say, if the robot dies later in the fight, it doesn't matter because there is no need for everybody to survive, okay? All you care about is winning, okay? And this is how you win. Very straightforward, very simple. This is a very strong team with the Frigid Prowler. You can also play the Vagrant version, which is also super powerful. Like, we defeated all Elite Force and Gym Battles with this composition on the first try. Relatively easy, relatively simple, okay? So I hope uh, this uh, video was useful for you guys. Uh, and as always, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more Honky Star Rail content. I also stream every day on Twitch. Feel free to check me out there. It's also in the description down below. I wish you a wonderful day and see you in the next video.